And that is our hot wings. Hey, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Jameson, and this is how I cook. You're looking for a wings recipe. Maybe you're getting ready for the big game. But either way, you found my channel, and you found this video, and I'm gonna show you how I make hot wings. That's right, we're gonna show you how I make hot wings up next on This Is How I Cook. So guys, before we get into the ingredients for this recipe, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. It really does help my growing channel. So we've got the star of the show. We've got some chicken wings here from Publix. These are Publix Green Wise uh, chicken wings, but use whatever chicken wings you can find at your local grocery store. We've got some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. We've also got some butter. We've got ground pepper. We've got some celery salt. And the last little bit of a secret ingredient here, we've got some old fashioned MSG, AKA Accent, if you buy the McCormick brand. You don't have to use this if you don't want to, and, or if you're sensitive to MSG, don't use this in your particular version of the recipe, but it does help boost the flavor of our wings. So one of the ways you can save money in the kitchen is by being able to break down your own, your own meat. Um, instead of paying the butcher to do it, take a few minutes at home and do it yourself. So a uh, chicken wing has three sections to it. There's the tip, there's the flat, and then obviously there's the drum. And at each joint, we wanna take our knife and bring our knife right through the joint. And that'll turn this into what we traditionally see as a flattened drum. And so right there, you can see the articulation at the joint where the wing tip and the flat meet. And all you wanna do is take your knife and slide right through there. If you don't hit that joint, then what happens is you'll know that, hey, I'm not able to cut through this. Same thing here. And that is our flat and our drum. While we're in here cutting up the chicken, we wanna inspect the chicken to make sure that we don't have any pin feathers or any um, debris on the chicken. And we're gonna actually give this chicken a rinse. I know some people don't like washing their chicken. They say it, spread, it spreads germs, but you don't know what this chicken has been through before it got to you. So I'm gonna give this a good rinse uh, because I wash my chicken. If you wash your wings, the last step we wanna do is take a paper towel and we just wanna blot these dry. The excess moisture will keep them from crisping up when we fry them. So we wanna take our time and just dry the wings off as best we can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And, and as we go through here, just keep on inspecting the wings. If you see something on the wing, then just take your time to remove it. Now we're ready to season our wings. So for our hot wings, we're gonna start with a generous pinch of pepper. And then next we'll come back in with a little bit of this MSG. Last thing we're gonna add is a pinch of the celery salt. We wanna take our, our dirty hand and make sure that every wing is coated with our spice mixture. We don't wanna over season, so be careful with the celery salt because once again, your sauce is gonna have salt in it as well. That's what we wanna see for our hot wings. So if you're cooking at home and you're wondering, how can I tell if my oil is hot enough to fry in? The easiest trick without having a thermometer is to take one of your wings and just drop this wing into the oil. And when that wing starts frying, then you know that your, your oil is hot enough to fry the rest of the wings. And then you can just adjust your temperature accordingly. So right now, it's close, but it's not quite there. I'm gonna let this heat up a little bit more. But once this starts to truly fry, you know you're ready to drop the rest of the wings. This is where I wanna be, so I'm gonna add the rest of my wings. And once I drop the wings, I kinda wanna spread these out a little bit to make sure that they don't stick together. So when you're frying things, one of the things that you can look at to tell where your food is at in the process of cooking 
is let's look at all these bubbles. When you're frying, you start seeing a lot of large bubbles. That means that your, 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 your food is cooking, releasing water and vapor into the oil, producing the bubbles. Once you see fewer and fewer of these bubbles and your chicken has browned nicely or your, whatever you're deep frying is browned nicely, then you know, hey, I'm actually done here. I'm frying. We're gonna take these up and put them in our oven so they can stay warm. But that's what you want your wings to look like. So now we need to put together our hot wing sauce. So I've got half a stick of melted butter. And I'm gonna swirl it around and make sure I get all of those beautiful milk solids into this. I'm gonna pour this into my bowl. And next we're gonna whisk in some of our hot sauce here. So it's about one part butter, one part hot sauce and we just want to give this a good whisk. Now we're going to add our wings in. And we want to take our time and just toss these wings in this beautiful hot sauce butter mixture. Now we just want to plate our wings. hot sauce and that is our hot wings <laughs> I have never wanted to try wings worse in my life let's give these a shot which are your favorites flats or drums let me know in the comments let's try this flat here Sit up here on top. Ooh, ooh, that's that drip. Hold on. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. Let me try one more, y'all. Corian, Case. I think your Uncle Jameson did it again, man. Oh, I'm gonna try a drum this time, y'all. We get one of these big drum sticks. Oh, this is good. Buttery. Um, you get the taste of the celery salt. Um, it's perfectly seasoned. They're now over seasoned. Um, you get this nice, mild heat from the Frank's Red Hot, but you get more of a pepper flavor than anything else from that hot sauce. I mean, these are perfect hot wings. Guys, I hope, I really hope you try that recipe. It's an amazingly simple recipe and those wings are perfect. Guys, this is how I cook. I'm Jameson and those were my hot wings. Hope you guys enjoy those in time for the big game or for whatever occasion you're making hot wings. Anyway, I gotta get back to this. I gotta get back to these hot wings. I'll talk to you later. Man. <laughs>